Hey guys and welcome to another video here on Flowshop. Today I'm trying to do something a little bit different. It's actually something new I want to start on my channel where um, I'm going to pick a few photographers that probably have inspired me along the lines and show you or break down their process. Plus if you know anyone that probably you've been admiring their look for a very long time and you want me to do a breakdown of it, like study them and then do a breakdown and do a shoot for you guys to follow along, leave a comment down below. But today I'm here with Ryan, um, she was in my previous video. This time she's not talking, I'm the one doing the talking. Okay, so the person that we are going to be using today is Danny Diamond. I know he's always shooting with an 85 1.4, he's a Nikon shooter, but I'm using Canon EOS R with a Sigma 85 1.4. And he wasn't shooting with reflectors in the beginning, he doesn't strobe as well. I think nowadays he's been using a reflector and he's always using the white side and it's way bigger than what I have now. But because it's just a close up, I want to use a smaller one just because it can be a little bit handy. I can hold it with one hand and then shoot with the other one. So without wasting much time, I'm gonna jump into the video. The main things I'm going to look at again is creamy background or a bocalicious background and then she's going to be like really in focus. So I'm going to set everything to 1.4. Shutter speed would, it would vary but depending on what looks good is what I'm going to set it to. I'm going to leave the settings also on the screen for you guys to look at including some of the images that I get from the shoot. So if you like it, leave a like. Try to get this video to maybe 100, 200 likes and then I'll pick another photographer study his work and then <laughs> and then I'll do another shoot so let me know what you think about this video it's I think I want to call it a try it Tuesday try it Thursday and uh, yeah let's see how it goes my ISO 100 and 1 over 1 to 50 and 1.4 but I'm just going to increase my shutter speed a little bit more it's one over 2000 now and uh, okay so I'm going to start shooting without the reflector first to see how it looks so Ryan yeah beautiful yeah that's very nice gorgeous gorgeous okay so let's start with maybe you facing me straight maybe cross your arms like that actually uh, yeah, maybe just hold it, but turn it up a little bit so it's a little bit in the frame. So maybe when you cross your arms, yeah. But then flip the spec so it's, yes, just like that. And straighten your shoulder a little bit. And yeah, just like keep that pose right there. I'm not using a reflector yet still. It's very nice. Okay. And the sun is going down. But looking at my histogram, it still looks balanced. So I'm going to keep shooting right there bring your chin down slightly okay one thing I want maybe keep the specs in your shirt right here and then try holding your hair I'll pick it later so try holding your hair like in a bun yeah exactly but with one hand and just add a little bit of movement to your hips and then so you can drop one hand so drop the left exactly and then just turn your body to me a little to me yeah just like that so keep that yeah, that's nice. Yeah, just like that. You two like really face me and then you're just you're just holding it like that. Yeah, that's that's really good. Actually keep both hands. Yeah, yeah, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep that look. I think this is it. So I'm not going to let you change your look anymore. This is just exactly what we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to increase my shutter speed some more. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Turn your chest to me just a little bit. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. Squint a little bit. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so, now okay, so right now I'm going to keep the reflector right around here. It's filling up the shadows just a little bit. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And because of I autofocus on the EOS R, it's making it easier to even shoot handheld. Oh, this is good. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like when you're looking off to the side. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, that's nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look back into the camera. 
beautiful beautiful bring the chin down slightly yeah gorgeous 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 nice nice okay so the same thing but then just so move your body a little bit this way so drop the drop the shoulder facing me and then tilt your head down bring your chin down perfect just there so i'm going to take a few like this and i'm going to let you switch your hands so and the sun is gone but yeah basically um this is how it works so natural light always bouncing the light from the opposite side to fill up the shadows on her face i'll show you the before and after the ones without the reflector and then the ones with beautiful gorgeous oh gorgeous 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 yeah that's very nice gorgeous yeah yeah, yeah. perfect perfect ryan is the queen of squinting by the way <laughs> All right, so there we have it. I'm gonna leave the images at the end for you guys to tell me what you think about it. I probably might do an editing one as a follow-up to this video so I can edit um, just like Danny Diamond and then uh, let me know what you think about this. Should we stick to trying Tuesday or trying Thursday or if you have a better suggestion, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, so I have opened up just two of the images inside um, Adobe Bridge. And I just want to show you um, the difference between using the white side of the reflector and then not using it at all. So this image currently is the one where I didn't use the reflector. And so I'm just going to press space by zooming and just go straight into the eyes. And you can see that's me standing here and uh, there's no reflector in the eyes. So I'm just going to hit my right arrow key and move on to the one which has the reflector in the eyes and you can see it's clearly in her eyes is serving as a catch light but then also it's really it took a while to load uh, but it's also serving as um, an extra source of light like i mentioned in the beginning of the video and so you notice that it's lighting up her face but look at the forehead her cheeks over here and just a little bit of the specs um, you you can see that it's lighting up the image a lot more compared to this i mean this is also a very decent image if i wasn't using a reflector it's something that is still usable it's not a bad shot basically but if you look at what the reflector is doing is really adding that extra punch and this is even the white side so imagine when you use the silver side you'll be able to light up your portraits a lot more and it's inexpensive just getting a reflector holding it very close to your subject and then doing a shot like this also by no means am i saying that um, this is exactly how danny diamond works i'm just going over just the way he shoots and just trying to make it work and just showing you um, basically how how it's done and i mean the major difference is between um, using a reflector and then not using a reflector i mean both shots are beautiful absolutely gorgeous but then you get to see the extra touch that the reflector gives so yeah maybe danny will shoot like this maybe he won't but i just shot these um, based on what i've seen him do and what i think would have worked at the time of the shoot so if you enjoyed the video do let me know down below in the comments hit the like it's free i'm trying to get this video to about 200 likes and then i'll do an editing video where i try to edit also like danny diamond so yeah if something that you think you really want to see do let me know in the comments down below leave a like um share it with your friends and tell them to like this video let's get to about 200 and i'll see you guys in the next one